Hi kids, it's Mrs. Bear. How are you? Kids, I'm feeling bored. Let me call my friend and see if she can pass by. Hello, sweetie. How are you? What are you doing? What do you think about coming to my place and drinking tea together? Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for you. She said yes, kids. She's coming. Welcome, welcome, Minnie Mouse. Hi, kids. Uh-oh, an apple fell down on your head, Mrs. Bear. Oh, I feel as if I am Isaac Newton now. Isaac Newton? Who is Isaac Newton, Mrs. Bear? And I wonder why the apple fell down on the ground and it doesn't fly up high in the sky. That's because of the gravity, Minnie Mouse. Let me tell you about Isaac Newton and his laws of physics. Isaac Newton was a man who liked to watch the world around him. One day he was sitting under a tree and was hit on the head by a falling apple. Uh-oh! From that moment, people have been fascinated with physics. Look at him here. He's gazing out of the window. He's looking at the birds flying up in the air and the fish swimming in the lake. He noticed that everything could be explained by three simple laws. The first law is called inertia. This means an object will stay still unless something pushes or pulls on it. Look at this ball. It's an object. It stays still in its place. Now the boy is kicking the ball to his dog. He's pushing the ball with his foot towards the dog. So it's moving now. Look. Oh, that's interesting. What about a moving object, Mrs. Bear? Inertia also means that an object that is moving will keep moving until something makes it stop. Look at this sliding sled. With two little girls, it's moving and still moving. Now it's bumped into a fluffy snowbank. So it stopped. Now let's talk about the second law. The second law is force equals mass times acceleration. It says that the harder you push or pull something, the faster it will move. When an object is heavy, you have to push or pull much harder to make it move. Look at this boy. He's pushing the bicycle harder, so he's moving faster. Now let's talk about gravity. Gravity is a force from the earth that pulls on everything. That's why things fall when we drop them. Like the apple that fell on your head. Yes, yes. Look at this girl. She dropped an ice cream scoop. Now the earth gravity is pulling the scoop towards the ground. Mrs. Bear, how can we stand firmly on the ground? This question is answered by Newton's third law. It says that when you push on something, it pushes back just as much. That's why we don't fall through the floor. Our feet push on the floor and the floor pushes back on us. That's why this girl doesn't fall through the floor. Her feet push on the floor and the floor pushes back on her. And this boy also. And the girl. And the dog. 
But sometimes it's hard to move things. It resists motion. Yes, this force is called friction. Sometimes it's hard to move things. Friction is the force between two objects that resists motion, making it harder to move. Look at this girl. She's trying to pull the wheelbarrow, but it's hard to move it because it's too heavy. It resists the motion. Buoyancy is an example of the third law. A boat pushes on the water and the water pushes back on the boat making it float. Centrifugal force A centrifugal force pushes outward on an object moving in a curve like a roller coaster going around a loop. Centripetal force. A centripetal force makes an object move in a curved path like a swing. Back and forth. Back and forth. Now let's talk about other laws like lift and thrust. Lift. The wings on an airplane change the direction of the air. Changing direction means a force is pushing on the air. The air pushes back on the wings, creating lift. That's why airplanes can fly. Thrust When a rocket launches into space, the force coming out creates an equal force in the opposite direction up. This force is called thrust. Oh, what are you doing, Minnie Mouse? I'm practicing pushing and pulling. Push. Pull. Mouse, we forgot about our tea. Let's drink it. Would you like some sugar? No thanks, it's healthier without. Yes, you're right. Okay kids, we're done for today. I hope you liked the video. I love you so much. Bye bye.